Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Civil Engineering Academy. This is Jason. All right, so what I would do for this video is that I'm going to show you how to use theism polygon method uh, for the purpose of calculating average rainfall pre precipitation. Okay, so um, as you can see, uh, we have an example here. There's a catchment that contains five different rain gauges A, B, C, D, E. And each individual rain gauge will collect their own rainfall data. Okay, but how how are we going to know the uh, the average rainfall precipitation of these catchment? Okay, so now we're um, we're using this formula P A V, which is the average rainfall precipitation, equals to summation P I times A I divided by summation A I. And PI will be the rainfall data collected by each individual um, rain gauge. Then AI will be the representative area that uh, belongs to each individual rain gauge. Okay, that's where this theism polygon methods come into play. Okay, so this representative area will serve as the weighting factor in this weighted uh, average calculation. Okay, so the larger the area is, the uh, the more the um, the data from that rain gauge is going to contribute to the final average value. Okay, so that's the whole idea. All right, so let's um, jump on to the theism polygon method. So the first step is that con connecting the adjacent um, rain gauges. Okay, so for rain gauge A, we have to con connect A to B. So I'm going to use a red, red dash line like this and A to E. Okay. And then for rain gauge B, we have to connect B to C and B to D. And B to E. All right, and then for rain gauge C, we have to connect C to D. And then finally, D to E. Okay, so now we finish up the first step. Then we're going to jump up to the second step, which is split it, splitting up the area between two gauges. Okay, so I'm going to switch to blue color to identify the halfway point between two gauges. And then once you have this point, you have to draw a perpendicular or draw a line that perpendicular to the red dash line and passing through this halfway point. So that's going to be this line, right? So this blue line is, is going to split it up the area between A and B. So on the left hand side, it belongs to rain gauge A and on the right hand side it belongs to B okay so we're going to repeat repeat this um, step for each red dash line okay so now I'm just going to pinpoint the halfway point on all these dash lines and then draw my bisector lines okay All right, and then if you're using a uh, a ruler or something to help you to make exact lines, these bisector lines are going to intersect at the same point perfectly. Okay, just make sure that these are ninety degrees. Okay, so I'm just gonna complete all these bisector lines. It doesn't matter the orders. Okay. And now it's going to intersect at this point. And then this is the bisector line between D and E. And these are the last two bisector lines. Okay. All right. So now it, it is very easy to tell that on the left hand corner, upper left hand corner, this area 
belongs to rain gauge A, right? This is very obvious, okay? So this area right here, and then this area will belong to rain gauge B. And the most right-hand corner, this belongs to rain gauge C, and so on and so forth, okay? So now you can use uh, the results that the and polygon methods give you to figure out the representative area for all these five rain gauges and then uh, insert that into your formula here to figure out the average rainfall precipitation. All right, so that's the whole idea. And I hope you understand, and I hope this video will help you understand the idea of the Theos and Polygon method. And I will see you guys next time.